Hi, everybody. Alina's Wife and McKay, where we're all about helping you move up in your career, whether that's getting a promotion in your current organization and the pay raises that go along with it, or finding a new job and a new opportunity somewhere else. So today I want to talk to you about my favorite line from the movie, um, well, one of, one of many favorite lines from the movie Madagascar. Um, it's when the, the lead penguin yells out, resources! So, uh, if you're not familiar with the movies, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a side trip, but um, there are these funny little penguins and they're, they're like on a mission, whatever the mission is that changes from movie to movie. Um, but, but whenever they hit a challenge, the first thing that their captain does is ask resources. Like, so what are the resources that we have available? And then one of his little minion penguin other penguins has a clipboard and he goes through like, here are all the resources that we have. And I just think that is such a great image to keep in mind when you're a leader, because, um, and especially I see this with people who have just moved up in an organization. So if they're at a new level, so often when a challenge comes your way or your boss asks you to do something, or there's a new project that you've been put on, if you're used to doing things yourself or you're used to just doing things with your team, um, it can be easy to think that that problem is now just yours to solve, either yours by yourself or yours with your team. And to forget that actually your job at a manager and at a certain level in the organization is not actually to roll up your sleeves and try to solve that problem yourself. Your job is to call out resources and figure out what all is there at your disposal that you can pull in. What's it going to take to solve this problem? How do we need to address this problem? How do we need to tackle it? So rather than just like jumping in and trying to shoulder your way through it and do whatever it is by yourself, the first step when you get a new assignment or you face a new challenge or you see a new issue coming up should be to pause, to think resources, what all do we have? What do we need? What's it going to take? How are we going to get this thing solved? And then to put that plan forward and get the resources that you need so that you can successfully solve the problem. I'll tell you a story. Early on in my career, I was doing a change management project and I had two different teams that I was supporting. Um, and the structure of it was that there were these project leads whose job was to create the, the kind of change in their different organizations. And then I was a resource to each of them. And it, it's like, it's like the, you know, it's like the tortoise and the hare kind of story. Like the uh, one leader, you know, rolled up his sleeves, jumped right in, got a couple of people on board to work with him and started kind of cranking his way through how they were going to reach out to their salespeople and their customers about this change. And the other person sat back, like she didn't start recruiting a team yet. She put together a plan of how many resources she thought she needed on her team and what those kind of resources would need to look like, who were the people that she thought would be good to have on the team. And rather than just asking for like one or two people, she built out a plan that was going to take like five or six people. She asked me like, what do you think it would take? And I told her a few things and she like, we mapped out for like a couple of weeks um, and the whole time I was so nervous because I was like, this other guy's already on it. He's already got his guy and they're cranking on and like, we're going to be behind over here because we're spending all this time on this planning thing. And oh my God. Um, but, you know, and, and there were back and forth because she started asking for eight people and she only got six and they had to work that and rework the plan and blah, blah, blah. So we're like two or three weeks into it and she hasn't actually made any progress yet. So all she's been doing is this planning and negotiating for resources. But then she got those resources. She got them on board. We started working with them to get the project done. And before too long, that team had completely overtaken this other one because she had the bodies she needed to get the work done. And she had the project plan mapped out of like what all the different chunks of it were going to be. And it was a much more sophisticated approach to how that particular group was going to do its communications and get people engaged and track progress and all these things that this other side didn't have. They had, you know, two guys going out there beating the bushes, trying to tell everybody about the change, but they didn't have a way to track whether it was being understood or heard. They didn't have a way to, um, you know, kind of measure their results or their progress. Like all these pieces were missing because they had just jumped in and rolled up their sleeves and gotten to work. And it was such an important lesson. And I, one that I want to share with you that taking that moment 
to yell resources and pull out the clipboard and think about what is it going to take to really solve this problem? And then having that negotiation and that conversation and that level setting is such a valuable step before you jump in and just try to solve the problem, because that's where you can you know, level set with your leadership, like what would, what would solve look like? What's success going to look like? How are we going to measure it? What do we need to have in place so that we know if we're making the progress we need to make? All those different pieces can go into that kind of planning that uh, if you just try to jump in and like shoulder your way through it and do the work yourself, you're not going to have in front of you. And then you're not going to have that at the end in terms of measurable results, being able to show what you've actually done. So, um, so I, I want to invite you to have that image. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it, go find the penguins. Um, and, and, and just keep that in mind when someone is asking you to take something on, that they're not just asking you as a person to take it on. They're asking you in your role as a leader to take it on. And in your role as a leader, um, part of the work is to define what are the resources it would take and what's the timeline we would work under? And how are we going to know if, we're, if we've gotten there to do that planning and that resourcing of the work so that the whole thing gets done? Um, and, you know, and to be prepared for that to be a little bit of a negotiation and a back and forth. And, and to not be afraid of that, but to know how to do that in a way that's going to get you what you need so that ultimately you can be successful without burning out. So if you'd like help figuring out how to learn learn more about that or how to do that more in your work or how to negotiate that kind of thing with your boss or your leadership team, I'd be delighted to support you through that. Um, I've helped a lot of clients with that over the years. Uh, that lesson was early on and, and I've been able to apply it with many, many clients, helping them set themselves up for success by identifying and asking for the resources that they need and moving away from that impulse to do it all themselves or to get down into the weeds, which is something everybody has to learn as they move up in an organization. Like there's always a level of stuff that you have to let go of um, and pull other people in with you. And, and that's something I've also helped people do over the years. I'd love to help you with any of that. If that sounds useful, you can book a call with me at zmcoach.com slash apply uh, you'll talk to a member of my team, look at clear about your situation, what's going on, where you want to go in your career. And if we can help you get from here to there, we'll let you know what that would look like. And if not, we'll let you know that too and see if we can point you to some other resources. We look forward to talking with you. Take care.